Welcome to the Tuesday edition of The Path. You're connected to The Path, offering strength for our journey towards salvation. Here's Father Tom Soroka. Today's epistle reading is from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 20, through chapter 7, verse 12. For you were bought at a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Now concerning the things of which you wrote me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Nevertheless, because of sexual immorality, let each man have his own wife and let each woman have her own husband. Let the husband render to his wife the affection due her, and likewise also the wife to her husband. The wife does not have authority over her own body, but the husband does, and likewise the husband does not have authority over his own body, but the wife does. Do not deprive one another except with consent for a time, that you may give yourselves to fasting and prayer, and come together again, so that Satan does not tempt you because of your lack of self-control. But I say this as a concession, not as a commandment, for I wish that all men were even as I myself. But each one has his own gift from God, one in this manner and another in that. But I say to the unmarried and to the widows, it is good for them if they remain even as I am. But if they cannot exercise self-control, let them marry, for it is better to marry than to burn with passion. Now to the married I command, yet not I but the Lord. A wife is not to depart from her husband, but even if she does depart, let her remain unmarried or be reconciled to her husband, and a husband is not to divorce his wife. But to the rest I, not the Lord, say, If any brother has a wife who does not believe, and she is willing to live with him, let him not divorce her. St. John Chrysostom reminds married couples that in matters of sexuality, both men and women are equal. He writes, The wife does not have power over her own body, but is both the servant and the mistress of the husband. If you reject this, you have offended God. But if you want to withdraw yourself sexually, it should only be with your husband's permission, and then only for a short time. In other parts of Scripture, the husband is given certain prerogatives in marriage, but not here. Where chastity is concerned, husband and wife have equal rights. Today's Gospel reading is from St. Matthew chapter 14, verses 1 through 13. At that time, Herod the Tetrarch heard the report about Jesus and said to his servants, This is John the Baptist. He is risen from the dead, and therefore these powers are at work in him. For Herod had laid hold of John and bound him and put him in prison for the sake of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife. Because John had said to him, It is not lawful for you to have her. And although he wanted to put him to death, he feared the multitude, because they counted him as a prophet. But when Herod's birthday was celebrated, the daughter of Herodias danced before them and pleased Herod. Therefore he promised with an oath to give her whatever she might ask. So she, having been prompted by her mother, said, Give me John the Baptist's head here on a platter. And the king was sorry. Nevertheless, because of the oaths, and because of those who sat with him, he commanded it to be given to her. So he sent and had John beheaded in prison, and his head was brought on a platter and given to the girl, and she brought it to her mother. Then the disciples came and took away the body and buried it, and went and told Jesus. When Jesus heard it, he departed from there by boat to a deserted place by himself. But when the multitudes heard it, they followed him on foot from the cities. St. Hilary of Poitiers sees a much greater significance to the beheading of St. John the Baptist. 
he writes, On Herod's birthday, that is, amid the delights of corporeal things, the daughter of Herodias danced. With every enticing movement she made, she exuded sensual pleasure, as though from the infidelity that arose through all the joys of Israel. The people gave themselves over to this. All were corrupted by an oath. Through sin and the pleasures of the world, the Israelites sold the gifts of eternal life. The girl requested of her mother, who herself had a knack for infidelity, that the head of John, symbolizing the glory of the law, be brought to her. For the law had exposed incestuous Israel with the authority of the divine commandments. Remember that you can download all of the daily messages by visiting our website at ancientfaithradio.com and clicking on The Path. We'd also love to hear from you. You can write us at The Path at ancientfaithradio.com. That's The Path at ancientfaithradio.com. Now, here with some final thoughts is Father Tom. Let us flee every immoral action so that we may reveal ourselves to be truly members of the Israel of God. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us, to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations, forever and ever. Amen. This is a daily presentation on Ancient Faith Radio.